So in the northern parts, many became enlightened by the word of God, and had their ignorance and sins discovered unto them, and began, by His grace, to reform their lives and make conscience of their ways. The work of God was no sooner manifest in them, but presently they were scoffed and scorned by the profane multitude. But they shook off the yoke of anti-Christian bondage, and as the Lord's free people joined themselves by a covenant of the Lord into a church estate in the fellowship of the gospel to walk in all his ways, according to their best endeavors, whatever it cost them, the Lord assisting them, and that it cost them something, this ensuing history will declare. was for a Virginia company, a promise that was not delivered to us. What would you have us do? We are bound to these passengers by our agreement, by our word. Our contract was null and void the minute our vessel laid anchor upon these wild shores. We have no need to stay here. Let us leave these people and make way for Virginia, as originally planned. Yes, gentlemen, please come in. It has been reported to us that some of you who are not among our congregation have, have been discussing mutiny and that you desire to go thy own way upon our landing. This is of grave concern to our entire company. For your survival and for ours, we must join together into a civil body politic. Nice, sir. Our patent has been procured for the Virginia colony. But we have set ashore in New England, in which the established power of the government has no jurisdiction. Therefore, none have the power to command us. Yes, but this savage wilderness demands that we remain united for our better ordering and preservation. We must stay together. We will not submit to your rule. You do not have the king's authority here. We intend to use our liberty to do as we see fit. Liberty. Sir, gentlemen, what, uh, gentlemen, please consider our present condition. Having crossed the vast ocean, we have no homes, no inns to repair to. As to the season, it is winter, which is known to be severe and sharp and subject to the fiercest storms. A dangerous time to be traveling in a known land, much more to explore an unknown coast. Besides, what do we see but a desolate wilderness, full of wild beasts and wild men, and of what multitude we do not know? With all these things considered, should we not combine ourselves into a civil body for our better ordering and preservation, rather than striking off to wander in the wilderness alone? We have prepared a document based on Christian self-government that will keep us accountable by the election of representatives and governors. This alone will ensure our survival in this wild land. There is wisdom in what you say. Let us consider your document. In the name of God, amen. We whose names are underwritten, the loyal subjects of our dread sovereign Lord, King James, by the grace of God of Great Britain, for the France. glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith, and honor of our king and country, a voyage to plant the first colony in the northern parts of Virginia, do by these presents solemnly and mutually, in the presence of God and one another, covenant and combine ourselves together into a civil body politic, hereof to enact, constitute, and frame such just and equal laws 
ordinances, acts, and customs. We have here under subscribe our names in Cape Cod, the 11th of November, in the year of the reign of our sovereign lord, King James of England, France, and Ireland, the 18th, and of Scotland, the 54th, Anno Domini, 1620. The contents of this document do not undermine our loyalty to the king. I will sign. Thus, out of small beginnings, greater things have been produced by his hand that made all things of nothing and gives being to all things that are. And as one small candle may light a thousand, so the light here kindled hath shown to many yea, in some sort, to our whole nation. Let the glorious name of Jehovah have all the praise.